to All Star Action, everyone. Kevin Harlan, happy to be here with Clark Kellogg and Craig Anthony. It's time for the three point competition. The league's elite marksmen ready to let their talent shine. And unlike the dunk contest, very few judging controversies in this competition. The scoring system is pretty straightforward. Well, it's right there. They talk about this league being a make or miss league. Well, this is a make or miss competition. We're going to see who's going to heat it up tonight. So it'll be Nikola Jokic here. And it's always good to get off to a hot start, right? I mean, all about setting the tone right from the jump. No question, because when you shoot it well like this, it helps your confidence in the later round. Three points now. Four. That makes five. That's his fourth straight bucket. This is a respectable start. That's seven. Could only get one shot to fall off the rack. Not his best. He's getting cold. Five consecutive misses. Can't sink the money ball there. Oh, rough finish here, guys. Nine. Nine points is what he finishes with. Well, I, I didn't expect that score to be as low as it was. What about you guys? Yeah, struggled with consistency there. Uh, we always talk about guys getting into a rhythm in this event, and he just wasn't able to. And so it'll be Stephen Curry. In an event like this, hitting some of those money balls is critical. And boy, do they add up. And you can feel the difference when you pick up that money ball to shoot it. As a competitor, you lock in. Four misses on the money ball. No good with this fourth in a row. Six. Two racks to go. He's at seven now. Trains the money ball. That shot puts him in first. 11 points total. He got 14 points in that round. Well, a very respectable performance for him there, guys. And he made three out of nine money balls, missing out on a lot of extra points. And so here's Hunter Takumbo now. Three, two, one, let's go. One. Gets the money ball. Four. Five. Nicely done. It's his fifth in a row. And he's off to a decent start. Oh, that, that's really cool. That's five in a row. He better get it together. He misses like that. He's struggling. 11 points total. Can't sink the money ball there. That's four misses in a row. And that makes it 12. He posts a score of 14. I think he'll benefit from some of the pretty poor scoring out of the other players. And he managed to hit four money balls. Not terrible, but, but could have been better. So we'll see LeBron James. If shots aren't falling, shooters need to stick with what got them here. Don't change anything. Yeah, I mean, you can't be a tailor out there and think you're going to do some alterations. Just keep shooting the way that you shoot. He needs two more to stay within reach. Can't cash in on the money ball. There's nine. He's in third. 11 points total. Can't get the money ball to fall. This, this isn't good. Off the mark with five in a row now. And, and that equals the best score of this round. He got 14 points in that round. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. Yeah, no trouble getting it going. And right from the get-go, off to a hot start. So it'll be Kawhi Leonard here. And, you know, a lot of these guys haven't been the center of attention on the floor by themselves. That's some pressure right there. It is so different than any other moment in your career where you're out there by 
by yourself on center stage shooting in front of thousands of people. And there's a lot of fun that goes along with it, but it's nerve-wracking. Good wreck right there. Four points total. Five. He's got to close out with some makes. Eight points is all he needs. Seven. And that's a wrap for him. Won't be able now to advance. Even if he were to make all of the rest. Yeah, a little bit depressing at this point, but uh, he'll make the best of it. He comes away with 11 points. That's far below what he's capable of doing when he's on his game. Well, you'll want to go streaking while you're in this three-point shooting contest, but not on the other side of the ledger. He missed seven straight. And so we'll see Kevin Durant. He's in a good spot getting to go last. It's no mystery how many points he needs to move on. And he just needs 14 points here to move on. And he's more than capable of matching that. Just got to stay locked in here. For five, can't cash in on the money ball. That's four misses in a row. That's five in a row. He better get it together. Oh, we got to see a big finish from him here. Time to switch into clutch mode. And that's it. Can't advance at this point. What if we just saw a guy walk away at this point? Now, can you imagine that? Just, all right, guys, see ya. I don't, I'm not going to shoot the last one. Eight points is all he ends up with there. Well, not his finest showing. I think we can all agree he could have done a lot better. Yeah, never really had a feel for his shot. You know, you come in and you're prepared to show your best. This was not his. These scores so far have not been incredible. You, you'd think the rim was crooked the way these guys have all been struggling. Not the shooting clinic that we expected to see so far, but the finals might just light a fire under these guys. And so it'll be Stephen Curry. First out of the gates here in the final round. Can he set a mark that the rest can't match? And once you get to the final round, stamina certainly comes into play, especially the tired leg aspect of taking so many shots by this point. Yeah, it's hard to blame these guys. The adrenaline has kind of come down. Can they settle back in and stay consistent? It's a will to win time. And you got to get that adrenaline back up. Nine. One rack remaining. That's 13. And 13 is a final score. He turned in a pretty good round right there, don't you think? Well, he made more than his share, but didn't exactly go crazy out there. Yeah, he just didn't string together enough of those balls in order to make it a legendary round. And so here's Antetokounmpo now. 13 points, the minimum. That's it to tie. Or 14 for the lead. Can't sink the money ball there. Eight more points for him to tie it up. He's at seven now. Nine points for him right now. Solid start. Three points more to tie it. 11 points total. Misses on the money ball. Two more to tie it up. And that makes it 12. 13. Just two points there. He won't be happy with that. And with that make, he's now the one to beat in the final round. It's got to feel good to be out ahead. Yeah, that's awesome. He's positioned himself very nicely here. He got 14 points in that round. I'd say a solid showing from him. Well, caught his rhythm in that second rack where he did not miss any of his shots. So it'll be LeBron here. He had the highest score in the last round. Let's see if he can do it again here in the final. And one of the many benefits to outscoring the other guys early, you get to relax and observe before going last in the finals. And it might be dramatic, but you could say that the extra couple of minutes of rest might make all the difference in your shooting when you get out there to go. Seven more, he's got to get up. He's going to need six to get this thing tied up. One rack to go here. Four more points, and it's time. 
11 points total. And that'll about do it for him. Yes, it will. Just too little, too late. And officially, this one is over. He finishes with a total score of 12 points. There was just something off about him in that round. Well, he never got going and really never felt comfortable out there. Really hard to settle yourself down. Once that clock starts, it ain't stopping. Zero. And that'll do it. So a hearty congratulations to the winner of tonight's three-point competition, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's always a hot ticket to see these incredible shooters square off. And tonight's competition, Greg, every bit as good as advertised. It was sure a pleasure to sit here courtside and watch it all go down. And so from all of us here at 2K Sports, it was our pleasure to bring you this year's three-point contest. For Brent Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.